All right, we're back. Uh, I'm actually, I'm only able to do 15 minute clips at a time, so we got sort of cut off there, but um, we left off um, with the phrase waving the bloody shirt. This appears a couple times in chapter 16, but what it means is um, it's reminding, okay, the country of the Civil War. It's reminding the country that Republicans, that Lincoln, right is is the republican and that lincoln saved the union right and that it was done through just the, the blood of the country all right being spilt um and not that they would go out and say what i just said necessarily but they would um just provide whatever reminders they needed at polling places or whatever it might be uh for people to to the end the end of all all of that sort of uh uh, all those comments is Democrats divided the Union, right? Southerners are identified with uh, the Democratic Party at this point, and they divided the Union. It was the Republican Party that saved the Union, okay? And, you know, Grant has that to thank for that, uh, for uh, his victory in 1872 for re election. And, you know, reality is, Grant has, he already had. Uh, the African American voters um, in 1860, uh, 1868, uh, and again in 72, uh, for their um, for their help there too uh, in in 1868. So he's he's really won on the basis of Reconstruction. Is my point. He's you know Grant's really won because of Reconstruction. Okay, and um, you know he owes it to that. So we said where the Civil War right and the victory. Um, of uh, of the North, the Union North, kind of translated into this lost cause of the Confederate South. Now you have Reconstruction, Union North, Reconstruction, and Confederate South, uh, and redemption. Right, we're going to redeem, redeem the country, redeem the South of what it once was. Okay, according to them. So Reconstruction did not end. In fact, guys, if we go through this, you'll understand that Reconstruction really meant the civil rights amendments, the 13th, which abolished slavery, the 14th, which gave equality under the law, the 15th amount, which gave the right to vote to all men, regardless of uh, race. Uh, but the problem is, all these amendments have to be interpreted at the state level anyway. And because, um, uh, because especially the 15th, because of especially the voting uh, amendment, the 15th, um, there are so many ways around that Okay, Southerners will always sort of find a way to keep African Americans away from the polls, aside from the violence we've already spoken of, right, in the last screencast. Um, in other words, things like literacy tests, uh, polling taxes, um, you know, the, the, the obvious notion that African Americans uh, are not literate for the most part, so they would have a difficult time passing a literacy test and therefore would not be able to vote. Uh, the even more obvious thing, which is um, they've been slaves their entire life, have no money to pay a poll tax, and so that would also bar them. So it's supposed to exclude those people who fit that criteria. And at this point, most people who would fit that criteria are African Americans. And the 15th Amendment really doesn't um, prevent that from happening. Okay, it'll take other legislation going down the road that will. Uh, prevent that from happening and that will lead us into guys the 1950s and 1960s 19 1960s all right so there's a lot more to be said here um for reconstruction you know all these great things that have happened all need time and the events of history to sort of play out so that they can all be realized in the way they're supposed to be realized okay and as we said in class the other day election of 1876 or 1876 i said uh and 76 and 77, that is, is really the end of Reconstruction, the official end uh, from a historical standpoint. And the election of 1876 uh, pits uh, Samuel Tilden, a Democrat, but from New York, so he's trying to cover cover the country, really, okay? And being a northerner, but being a Democrat, and he's hoping to get a lot of, um, get a lot of support, and he will. And then you have the Republican and Rutherford B. Hayes, who um, is a Midwesterner, I believe he's from Ohio. Um, so he's, you know, so it's a very close election, guys. You have um, a solid South, as we've been talking about, right? A solid Democratic South, 
who realizes after the 1872 debacle that they really need to turn out this time and make sure a um, Democrat is elected president. And what happens is um, because the popular vote and elect, uh, electoral vote come under um, questioning, basically, there's not enough to seal the election for either candidate, although it seems like Tilden, believe it or not, would have won. Um, Congress decides to handle this through a commission, the same radical Republican Congress, by the way. Okay, a commission of 15 people. And 15 is an odd number, so there's no tie, but unfortunately, you have, unfortunately for the Democrats, you have eight Republicans and seven Democrats on the commission. So what they decide in the end is obvious. I think it's pretty transparent that they're going to choose Hayes as president. Now, Democrats intend to fight this, but what they, they do instead is, okay, they decide that instead of, instead of fighting, instead of fighting this in the way we would expect them to, and this got cut off for some reason, um, they, uh, instead, they decide to make a deal, okay? And the deal they make is that they get control of the South back, okay? Republicans can have the presidency, okay? They, don't, they never liked the federal government anyway, so it's, it doesn't even matter. They want their state governments back, okay? They want Republicans, that, they, the influence. They can't, they can't just oust all the Republican candidates that might be there now, but they want that Republican sort of parent, par parental sort of monitoring um, situation gone. Okay, the Military Risk Reconstruction Acts, they want them gone. Um, they want things like a Southerner in the cabinet. They want to have a Southerner placed in that cabinet. They want money to build railroads and things like that. So, so honestly, they want all these things. Okay, and they're willing to deal and get all those things. Okay, and they really could care less about the presidency if, they're, if they get all those things. And they basically do. And what happens is they get their redemption, so they say. Right, or so they see it, in that they don't really feel they have to worry so much about a Republican president if um, they've basically secured for the future, the long term, right, what they wanted to have the whole time. And actually, they really do for the next hundred years, guys. Basically, basically about a hundred years, they they are going to really, you know, make and break pretty much every and every in every which way, um, Southern culture. Right? They're going to they're gonna bring back a lot of the traditional uh, views of things and certain things they can't get around now. Um, but they will make life very difficult for freedmen, certainly. They will like, make life um, uh, seem more promising for, for whites. Okay? And again, it comes back to the Solid South and what the basis was for sol solidarity in the Solid South. And unfortunately, it was racism. All right? So...